Hi guys, today let's make wonton soup that will warm your body, also warm your soul. We all need some hug for our spiritual being, so this wonton soup will do. So first, we need to make the broth for the soup. We need five cups of water. If you already have a yondu in your kitchen, I love using yondu to make the veggie broth my own. I usually like to add one tablespoon per cup of water, but I'm not gonna add all five tablespoons here because we're gonna season with a little pinch of salt and a little bit of soy sauce and everything. So I'm gonna add only two and a half tablespoon of yondu. Teaspoon of soy sauce, three slices of ginger, three to four cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna smash down a little bit like so. Two green onions, the roots and everything, go ahead and add into the soup because we are adding the green onions for the flavor. Green onion roots actually create beautiful broth too. So right, this is it. I'm going to turn the heat, cover, bring it to boil. And when it starts boiling, reduce the heat to medium low and simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. So meanwhile, the broth is going, we are going to make the filling for the wontons. Today, I'm going to use Omniporks ground, pork style ground meat. <laughs> so you will need only four ounces of this. Teaspoon of soy sauce, teaspoon of cornstarch or potato starch of your choice. This will hold all the wonton filling ingredients together. Quarter teaspoon of sesame oil, quarter teaspoon of sugar, little pinch of black pepper, and a clove of garlic. Instead of chopping it, I'm just gonna grate it in. Perfect. Little bit of ginger as well, just gonna grate it in. Same amount as garlic. I'm gonna chop one small green onion. Green onion will add beautiful this onion flavor into the wonton filling. Mix everything together. Who are you gonna feed with that amount of pork? Like, seriously? Girl, I have a big family to fit. No worries. This filling, believe it or not, will make about 20 wontons. For this recipe, you will need 20 wonton wrappers. Like I said, it will make 20 wontons. I prefer the square wonton wrappers. You can use a round one too, but for the shape, the wonton shape that we are gonna make, the square one works perfect. And the rest of the wonton wrapper, make sure you wrap it tight again and either put it back to the freezer or put it back to the refrigerator until for next to use. And make sure this is like airtight wrap. And the rest of it, make sure you cover this wonton wrapper, damped paper towel or kitchen towel so the wonton wrapper wouldn't dry out while you're working on making wontons. Go ahead and take one wonton wrapper at a time, place on your palm. Wet the edges of this wonton wrapper like so and add about half teaspoon, like really little bit, like see? Like really little bit of the wonton filler. This is all you need. And go ahead and fold it in half in triangle shape and push it with your thumb like this, both thumbs to seal. And then water one of the side of the left or right, whatever you choose to. Fold it over left and right at corners like this and bam! Wontang's done. How easy is that? Repeat 19 more times. I just took all the solid ingredients out and just increased the heat to high to bring the broth back to boil. Now let's go ahead and add the wontons. I actually ended up like 23 wontons, but I'm not complaining. Pot will be a little more crowded because there's three more wontons than what is supposed to be in the recipe, but it's all good. It takes only three to four minutes to fully cook the wontons, so it's really fast. So don't walk away from the soup, okay? Oh, it's gonna be so delicious and so heartwarming in this chilly weather. And every time I say chilly weather, y'all make fun of me because I'm in Dallas. I'm not Dallas. I'm in Maui. <laughs> like, it's how I get really chilly, girls. Seriously, but yeah, it does. Like, cause we're living a little higher uh, altitude, altitude, altitude. So it gets a little chilly. Like, I'm talking of a little low 60s. <laughs> Sangyang, how do you know wontons are fully cooked? Because like I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Like 
I don't know, they are inside and I can see if they are cooked or not. If they are floating on the surface like this, it means they are fully cooked. So no worries, it's safe to eat. <laughs> I brought my, my good old wonton soup bowl, that my original wonton soup recipe that went viral, that I brought the same bowl for the good luck. To your taste, go ahead and add like bok choy or Chinese broccoli or regular broccoli or whatever vegetables you want to add in here like napa cabbage will be delicious too for extra vegetables in your soup I love my wonton soup as simple as it is just wontons and just a little bit of a green topping and that's all I need It's like a must to cook at least three times per winter. Oh. Mmm. Oh my god. Tangle tangle. The omnipole, the feeling. I don't know how to explain. In Korean, we say tangle tangle. Does anybody know how to say tangle tangle the texture in English? Can you please put the comment below because I don't know how to describe that in English. It was so hot that I burnt my tongue a little bit, but it was worth it. <laughs> if you like my wonton soup recipe, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more delicious, authentic, clean-based Asian recipes like this. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys! I think I don't I don't think it needs chili oil unless I'm actually making this for drinking food. Right? I don't know, it's amazing.